Dinosaurs have always been a point of fascination for me, and I've always found it puzzling why more recent video games haven't used them as a subject matter. That's why The Hunted Primal caught my eye in the first place, a hunting-slash-survival game based around surviving on a distant planet populated with dinosaurs. The Hunter Primal is an early access game on Steam, and developed by the same studio, Expansive Worlds, that brought us the free-to-play game The Hunter, with its absolutely egregious payment model. And on its surface level, this just looked like a reskin of that game with a $20 early access price tag. Let's just say my hopes weren't high going into this. But I'm glad to say that this game, even in its unfinished state, proved me wrong and provided me with some of the most tense, heart-pounding moments I have had in my recent gaming memory. In Primal, you are a convict, tasked with colonizing an Eden-like planet for the expansion of humanity, the only problem being the planet is infested with dinosaurs. Why there are prehistoric Earth dinosaurs on a far-off planet, and while the game being set far enough in the future where humans can colonize other worlds, yet you still use a bow and rifles to hunt the dinosaurs, doesn't really make sense, but that doesn't really matter. You're not here for the story. It's more of just an explanation and setup as to why you're getting chased around by raptors. Let's start with the negatives. And let me stress, this is an early access game, so some of these issues, if not all of them, may be addressed once the full game is out. The island you're placed on, while expansive and dense with forests, hills, and rivers, can be more of a pain than a joy to get around. I found myself getting stuck on the world's geometry quite often, or walking through a canyon for what can sometimes feel like an eternity due to your character's painfully slow walking speed, just to come to a dead end with walls on every side, so your only option is to turn around and backtrack your way out just to get to where you need to go. At the time of review, there is also a lack of variety in the dinosaurs. Three to be exact. There's the Triceratops, Utah Raptor, and T-Rex and their AI can be a bit of a hit or a miss. Sometimes you can feel like these are real predators trying just as hard, if not harder, to hunt you down as you are to hunt them. And other times they can just derp derp right on past when you're clearly in their line of sight and within arm's reach of them. My only other big complaint with the game is while you're in multiplayer, every single time someone leaves the server, a big black screen pops up pausing the action for everyone still in the game, letting you know that they left. And this has killed more than its fair share of what would otherwise be very tense moments. All that being said, I still absolutely adore this game. The lack of music and fantastic ambiance really immerse you in this tense as hell situation where you feel the wildlife is hunting you just as much as you're hunting them. I'm hard pressed to think of another game that had my heart racing quite as frequently as this one, whether it was being jumped by a pack of raptors while I was trying to sneak up on another dinosaur, or hiding in a bush as a T-Rex paced back and forth just a few feet from me, stopping to sniff the air and coming a bit closer to my position with every pass that it made. Oh my god, does he see me? I think he sees me. Oh sh That mother I really cannot stress enough the absolute terror I would feel time and time again when I was finally spotted after hiding for so long as a giant dinosaur came rushing towards me or I was jumped from behind by a pack of raptors. While this game does have big and small public servers, I feel this game is best enjoyed with a group of friends, where you can really work together and coordinate in order to take down some of the game's bigger beasts, and it can really give a true feeling of satisfaction when you're successful. One thing I must stress is this is not a run and gun shooter. The gunplay is deliberately slow and stiff, and it definitely adds to the immersion and challenge of the game. But if you're looking to pop in, run around, and mow down groups of dinosaurs, you're gonna be disappointed, because that is not at all the focus of this game. But for the experience that Expansive Worlds is trying to deliver, it succeeds on so many levels. Even in this early access state, I can fully recommend this game to anyone who is looking for a tense, immersive, and I use this term loosely, hunting simulator with dinosaurs. I am more than excited to see where this game goes next, and I can't wait to see what gets added. I have sunk hours into this game and can't wait to put more into it, and with a price tag of 20 bucks and the promise of much more content down the road, I'd say if you can round up some friends to go hunt with you, I can give this game a full recommendation. Hi, thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. 
feel free to click the subscribe button and see what other stuff we got, or check us out at pixelboxgames.com to look at some of our other content. There's some good stuff over there. Thanks again. Have an awesome day.